All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. Voodoo here. We are playing more of Fallout 3. Um, and we're just about to enter Vault 112. Uh, note that I want to make here. Uh, I do apologize for the last few videos because it seems like I might have accidentally adjusted my settings without me knowing for the audio because I noticed that the live commentary was really loud and the game audio was really low for the last few videos. I don't know what happened because uh, I don't believe that I touched the settings but I might have accidentally. So I adjusted the settings a little bit for the audio and we're going to see how it sounds and if I need to I'm going to be checking each video after I finish it for the audio levels and if I need to play with it I will. Um, so yeah I just wanted to apologize for the uh, messed up audio in the last few parts. But anyway we're going to continue. I have absolutely no idea what we're going to find in this vault. Um, should be interesting. Just trying to see the state of my guns here. Alright, here we are, Vault 112. So, we're now in. And I guess we just need to wander around and see what we can see here. Here's the door into the vault. Classic Fallout music playing right now. Fallout 3 Ash. Oh shit, it's a Robo Brain. Huh. Yeah, I'm a little late, bud. Please redress in your vault tech issued vault suit before no. proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I don't want to. I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may Oh, I know what this place is. Lounger. I know what this place is. Lounger is available. Please. I have to put on the jumpsuit, I have no choice. I know exactly what this place is now. Yep, this is that place with the uh, virtual realities, the simulations, the tranquility lane with the little kid slasher. I do actually remember this from, um... yep, here they all are in here. I uh, definitely remember this from watching other people play it. Um, but I don't remember how this part actually plays out so I don't I don't really know how this is gonna go but I do remember what this was because actually in the Old World Blues DLC for New Vegas they had like a real-life model of this place built um, in that DLC which is pretty cool so I don't think there's anything else here except for these Vault loungers. Um, so it's time to go in. I remember this part is really crazy. Huh, I'm sitting in it with my wig. That thing is too funny. Please stand by. Whoa. That was creepy. All right, here we go. It's loading Tranquility Lane. Oh, the music. Sanitizer is no longer active. All right, so I completed that quest. Scientific Pursuits, 600. And now we are on uh, the Tranquility Lane quest. Oh yeah, I'm that little kid. Bill Foster. You probably ought to go talk to Betty, kiddo. Don't want to keep her waiting. Gotta talk to Betty. She's out there on the playground, probably looking for you. Run along now. Okay, I gotta go talk to Betty. What can I do for you? Sir? Oh, George Newsbomb. Where am I? <laughs> Such a kidder. You're on Tranquility Lane, of course. Where else would you be? Huh? Have you seen my dad? Nope. Afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. You'll find him. Nice day, isn't it? Another perfect Saturday afternoon. 
to. Make sure you enjoy it, sport. What is he, Gatsby? He's calling me sport. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Oh boy. Oh look, fine dad. Friendly. Even old lady dithers. Fine and speak to Betty. Lost most of her marbles. <laughs> um, this is what, some kind of computer simulation? Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Of course I have. I have to go. Alright, let's go talk to Betty. Look at this. It's a friendly dog. Doc? Good doggy. I think he might be able to talk later. If I'm not mistaken. Hi there. There she is. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, someone new to play with. She's absolutely that? hideous and is kind of scaring me. Just to get bored. Oh, I don't actually want to look at her face because it's really creeping me out right now. And you are... On Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? Look, she's Jigsaw. I knew it. A game, I guess. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. Uh, who the hell is that? He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here. Wow, so she's a real bitch. Okay. Gotta go make this poor fucking kid cry. Go punch him in the nose. Oh, here he is. Hi there, I'm Jimmy. Wanna play? Oh, he's really annoying. 80%. Hey, I heard your parents are getting a divorce because of you. Oh, God. What? Oh, what God. That's man? horrible. Sorry, Tim. I just thought you should know. They know what you did and are leaving here all alone. They never loved you. In fact, they both hate you and wish you were dead. Oh my god. I'm I can't do that. Oh, no. Not my mommy and daddy, no. <laughs> that is fucked up. No, no. Lost karma, I didn't have a choice. Yay, I knew that was really fucked it. up. I feel really bad that about that. The most inventive approach, but persuasion can what the fun. fuck? Well done. And for winning the game. You'll get a prize. I'm scared out of my fucking mind right now. And receive an honest answer. Where is my father? What is this place? Just who are you? How do I get out? Should I ask her? Uh, I don't want to ask where is my dad. It's boring. I want to say I want to ask who this person is. I was known as Doctor Stanislaus Braun. But here I choose this identity. Do you find it unsettling? Yes, very. Case, I can choose to be whatever I wish, and this is what I have. So you're a creepy pervert. You will find that I control a great deal around here. If you're in control here, can you please help me? Why the hell would you want to look like a little girl? Why not? I've been in this place for two hundred years. What the? This is something fuck? to keep me amused. Much like my willingness to entertain your questions, though now I grow bored. So I think I shall set you to a new task. What do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married, and I'd like you to change. What the fuck? Put an end to their marriage. Why? And we'll talk. I don't want to do that to them. Then I'm afraid we have nothing more to say to one another. God damn it. I have to do it. I probably should have asked her where my dad was. Reasonable now? I don't really have a choice, do I? There is always a choice. Sometimes it's just easier to make. Put. It's only because I want more answers. Rationalize it any way you'd like. All right, I have to go do this, and then I guess I'll ask about my dad because I don't want to fucking do this anymore. <laughs> what is this fucking garden now? Alright, what the hell, how are we going to do this, I wonder. There they are. Hey there, sport, how's it going? Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Now see here, that's not anything for you <laughs> to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's pro- Why can't people just understand that and just leave us alone? Break up the Rock Rockwell's marriage without killing either of them, okay. Or can you tell me about the neighborhood? Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. 
None of this is real. It's all some crazy experiment. Sure, sport. Whatever you say. <laughs> Have you seen my dad? He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find. Okay. Nice day. You won't find a day like this. Betty wants me to break up your marriage. Now that's not funny. Now I'll talk to her, and then I might have to go around and find something. Good day to you. I hate to break it to you, but I saw your husband kissing some other woman. It's that Martha Simpson, isn't it? I knew it. <laughs> that's it. I've had enough of Roger's lies and bullshit. Oh man. What the fuck? She just left. Okay. Alright, let's see what Betty has to say about this. What are you talking about? I already did it. So, you have achieved your goal. I was hoping for something a bit more dramatic, but persuasion appears to be your strong. Yep, high speech skill. And at least you are a cooperative, unlike your father. I was most disappointed when he refused to participate, yet still expected something from me. I did what you wanted, now you have some explaining to do. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? Where? Where's my father now? He's here, and he is unharmed. He has merely been rendered unable to bother me. How do I know you're not lying to me? Maybe you haven't seen him at all. Oh dear. Now you don't even believe me. How disappointing. I assure you. James and I talked at length before you arrived. Huh. Now let's well. continue before I grow bored with you. <laughs> oh great, I'm really looking forward to doing more for your amusement. Your sarcasm is unappreciated. I don't care. This could be so much fun if you'd allow yourself to see it. Now, Mabel Henderson needs to die. What the fuck? Not just any death, mind you, but an entertaining, well thought out death. You'll see to that. Very simple. Plenty of opportunities. This is messed to show up. Me what you're capable of. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it. You will, and you never know. If I don't do it, I'm not gonna be able to do this quest. Shit. Someone's running over there. 